Susan Taylor had given up working full-time as an accountant to carry out charitable work and had trained for 18 months for the cross-channel swim. She set off from Sam Ho on the south coast in the early hours of Sunday. Her path across the channel was being tracked as she swam. Her brother, a paramedic, and her husband were on the support boat. Susan got into difficulties just a mile off the French coast, collapsing in the water. She was airlifted to hospital in Boulogne-sur-Mer, where she later died. She was raising money for the Rainbow Hospice in the East Midlands, something she'd been doing for more than two years. She was vibrant, she was fun, a um, little bit mischievous in a, in a lovely sort of way and just a joy to be around really. We, we loved to, to work with her, to do events with her and uh, always had such a laugh with her. They called her a remarkable woman and said other charitable challenges involved wing walking and a parachute jump. She was also a qualified rally driver. Her father, Arthur Wright, said, I'm devastated. I've lost the best person in the world. She was wonderful. She was certainly not a boring accountant. Susan Taylor's progress was being followed on Facebook by numerous friends and associates. When the tracker stopped, concern began to grow. She was so close to completing her biggest challenge. In tribute to her and the work she was doing, money is continuing to be raised at an even greater pace than before. David Crabtree, Sky News, Leicestershire.